Lil Tay be popping on YouTube right now. Mm. What do you do? You need to be like more ignorant. And you trying to be like me. Mommy, stop! <laughs> I was filming! No, you didn't. You literally lived like six minutes away, but you never you even came to visit me, so you don't even care about me. Lil Tay is a name that definitely rings bells. She went from being the youngest flexor of the century to Don and coming back and making a song. Recently, people been asking questions like, could there be something darker going on? But before the video does start, this video isn't to slander anyone. I'm just giving y'all my opinion and a story. Don't shoot the messenger, bro. Real talk. She went from being an influencer to Don to becoming an artist. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining everything. So watch the video until the end. Because let's be honest, what else do you possibly have better to do than watch the video? I put my hard work and hours of time and dedication into this video. And y'all just gonna click away. Okay, I'll see you. Okay. I stay busting that ops. I be fucking they thoughts to them hoes. Get the drop. Now he's spinning a block. Lil Tay, the youngest flexor of the century. She was in the spotlight and everyone was talking about her till one day she mysteriously disappeared. But y'all are probably wondering, where did this all start? In 2017, a YouTuber by the name of Rise Gun reacted to a video. And in that video was a nine-year-old girl that went by the name Lil Gucci Taylor. The video was Lil Tay going off calling everyone broke and she ended up replying to Rise Gum in her own video. Who dropped the video on me? So today we be reacting to that shit. Hey guys, it's me again. And today we'll be talking about something very serious. I'm not sure you guys know this, but I have a sister. I actually made a video about her in the past. Bro, explain these pictures, bro. We look identical, bro. That's my little sister, Lingling. Who would name their kid Lingling? That fake as hell. If you had a real sister, she'd be looking like a crusty ass toenail just like you. People were going crazy laughing at the fact that this nine-year-old girl was calling everyone bro. All this would only just boost her career. Eventually, she would make an Instagram where she would post videos of her flexing cars and money. She gained thousands of followers. Going from 250,000 followers to 1.2 million within a week. She would get into different altercations like when Whoa, Vicky and Bad Baby were gonna fight. <laughs> And there were several pictures of Tay with different artists that were doing crazy numbers at the time. Tay went from supposedly coming from the trenches of Atlanta to moving to the hills. She would start doing interviews and collaborated with other influencers. And people started to look into Lil Tay even further. Like how did a nine-year-old get all these things and who was behind it? In May 2018, we finally got answers. Lil Tay was exposed and the truth was finally out. On May 23rd, 2018, a video dropped of Lil Tay's brother telling her what to say and people were not rocking with it. You're still irrelevant like I said last time what do i say she will take always got enough money this shit cost me two thousand this shit cost me ten thousand and I this said, stop saying ten thousand two thousand three thousand two thousand five hundred okay yo yo your aunt your auntie yo little take off I'm gonna smack your auntie Cause your mama a thought and your auntie ugly as fuck I'm gonna fuck your mama and I'm gonna still smack your auntie Cause your mama a thought and your auntie ugly as fuck People started saying, what if she leaked the video on purpose to get more attention? So now everyone knew that Lil Tay was an act. Which in my opinion, it was pretty obvious because there's not really that many nine-year-olds that were flexing at that time like Lil Tay was. All this caused Lil Tay's friend, Will Vicky, to come out. And she made a video explaining that it was all in act two, basically exposing them. Y'all think this is Lil Tay? This is not Lil Tay. Let me tell you. Lil Tay is a little girl, a 10-year-old girl who came from Canada, Vancouver, who plays ballet. You know what I'm saying? She don't know none about a rapper. She don't know none about flexing. It's, it's her brother that runs her town. It's her brother that tells her what to do. Doing this, her brother in her ear, messed up how Jason, her brother, like, he's just exploiting her and basically just using her for money and fame because you know what I'm saying? Like, she's not benefiting any from anything from her page, which is basically his because she probably, well, I know she doesn't even have access to it. It's all him. Um, yeah, I would love to see her um, and collaborate with her again.
But to make it worse, one day Lil Tay's Instagram account went live and Lil Tay's brother accidentally showed himself, so it was pretty obvious that he had full control. Things got so big that Lil Tay and her mom were invited to Good Morning America to defend her big bro. And in the interview, she pulled up with her mom, which led people to believe that her mom had something to do with all this. People did a lot more digging and they found out that Lil Tay's mom was actually a real estate agent. She would use the properties from her job to record the Lil Tay videos. She would even use her boss's cars, which would lead to her getting fired because she didn't have permission to do so. And after this, now the whole world knew that Lil Tay was a fraud. Her Instagram account was completely white. Three weeks later, she returned with a message. And people started to worry a little bit because she didn't really leave any context. And if we're being honest, it just was like she was trying to pull a publicity stunt. Till October 22nd, 2018, Lil Tay would return and give full context to the message she left. Apparently, Lil Tay was being abused by her dad and his wife. Her dad ended up responding, but people were still skeptical about the whole situation because the thing that started this all was attention. They would get into a legal battle, which was shown to the public on Tay's Instagram. And after all this, she would disappear again. We wouldn't hear anything till news came out that Lil Tay allegedly passed away. Oh, look, sudden and tragic passing at age 14. Her can I tell y'all to play with me? Keep coming to you talking about she's alive, she's alive. That's not nothing to play about. Um, that's like nothing to play about. Y'all know damn well that y'all seen that post yesterday. Um, I really wish I would stop playing like that because y'all parents should have raised y'all better. You don't joke about somebody alive and you know that the situation of her and her brother. So please stop doing that. Thank you. The story was that Lil Tay and her brother were in an accident, but it was later revealed that her account was supposedly hacked. After it came out that she didn't actually pass away, it was all swept under the table. And on Saturday, September 30th, 2023, she would return nearly two months after they announced her death. It was five years later and Lil Tay finally returned to the internet with a song called Sucker for Green. And instead of it being a drill song, it was more of a K-pop kind of song, which was very unexpected, but kind of smart. I was going to talk about the case, but I feel like this information shouldn't be be public for some reason i don't know bro i don't feel like speaking on that you feel me respectfully she actually did go live going over everything so i'm gonna just play the clip my father who had not been in my life for years up to that point decided to come back into my life to take control over my career and my money that's why i disappeared he started a court case to silence me so i could not speak on what was happening and so he could take control over my money his name is chris hope this is him this is chris hope all right because i i cannot even tell you the full story i have to give you a summary of it first of all this man he was bringing, when I was living with him, this is all, these are all events that happened before I became famous. Because he had not been in my life for years before then. He was bringing random ass women around all the time and literally hooking up with them in front of me. I was a child. He was hooking up with random women all the time. And he found them off of Craigslist. It's fucking sick. And she, she would always take out her anger onto me. I... If her son did anything wrong, it would become my fault. And she she punched me, she pinched me, pinching me was a really big thing. Chris Ming shoved me. And this is one of the worst incidents that happened. This is a police report. They were physically abusing me constantly. And like I said, if her son acted out of line, she would use me as a scapegoat and take it out on me. And in fact, physical abuse of me was so common in this household that her son caught onto it and he, he was doing it to me too. And they would just egg him on. They were feeding me the most disgusting ass food. Look at this. What is this shit? This is what they were packing me for lunch. My mom had discovered that they were packing me this bullshit for lunch. Rotten, frozen, parasitic, moldy. Look at this, who? That's candy, that's expired candy. These are my mom's text messages to him, sending him these photos. I'm like, why are you sending this to your child for school? And the most recent update we got was that her dad allegedly swatted her. What the fuck's up, bitches? So, I've been gone for about two fucking weeks because my abusive misogynistic father, Chris Hope, fucking swatted me. I posted on my story, some of y'all may know that shit, and he's also threatening to sue me and my mom because we, I exposed his ass. This motherfucker is a fucking pussy. You know why he hasn't come out and said shit? He hasn't done no interviews because everything I said is fucking true and he knows that shit. He can't deny shit. He's a motherfucking bitch and he's a pussy who swatted me. That's why I've been gone for two fucking weeks. 
But if we're being honest, anyone could have done that. Like, why would her own dad swat her, bro? That don't make sense to me, but I don't know, bro. But as of right now, this could either be the end of something old or the beginning of something new. I seen a theory saying that what if this was AI, and I don't know, bro. AI been getting crazy, so maybe it could be, but I really don't think so. But if it was, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. But I guess we're gonna have to leave that for another time. We really don't know what the actual truth is. Only the people behind it will really know it's the truth. People only show you what they want to show you on the internet, and I'm gonna leave it at that. So with that being said, leave a like on the video, subscribe, and don't forget to follow my Instagram. Me and Rice Gum are friends. Just stop reporting my videos. I have a dream. I'm trying to make my mom proud. Like, y'all are here hating on me. You have a family. Go enjoy that. Why are you wasting your time reporting my videos and taking them down? I'm trying to chase my dreams. I'm trying to spread positivity, and y'all are just here hating on me for no reason. Me and Rice Gum are friends. Like, I want to make my mama proud you guys are not doing anything with your life you may not see it but i'm trying to do i'm trying to accomplish something and you guys are preventing me from that all y'all haters like i'm trying to accomplish my dreams if you don't like me just block me i didn't do anything to you <laughs> Before anything, bro, the mic is... I'm literally holding the mic right now, so my bad if the quality isn't the best. And I don't know why it sounds like I'm whispering. I'm really just talking normal, but I don't got time to fix this right now. But I just wanted to say something before I end this video off, which is I appreciate every single person who has subscribed to me and liked my video. It really means the world to me because I wouldn't be anything without y'all. And all the positive comments push me to keep doing better. I know I haven't posted a video in like a month, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Real talk. I'm really sorry. But hopefully this video made it up to y'all. I got more plans in the future so y'all stay tuned and follow my instagram to stay updated with me all right last thing last thing before i end the video off is road to 100k well actually we gotta hit 10,000 first and then road to 100k but y'all get what i'm trying to say i'm not even trying to waste any of y'all's time so i'm gonna just leave it at that i'm gonna show you how much people fucking with you out here on the streets go straight go straight watch I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you these people don't got instagram hold on I'm, I'm gonna stop a random person watch how much watch how much you popping on these streets watch hold on hold on these chinese people oh no they chinese they don't they don't they, they, they don't know they don't know like if i ask them something they're gonna hold on there's nobody on these streets right now hold on Watch this, watch those, you popping on the streets, bro. Like, why nobody outside? Where is everyone? I don't know. Oh, oh. Yo, 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 bro, yo. Yo, you know, you know who Lil Tay is? You know who Lil Tay is? Yo, you don't know Lil Tay right here, bro.